Good morning. My name is Jean Burden, and many of you may know me from doing morning Bible studies, uh, quick devotionals, talking about God's Word. But today, this particular video is about something tied to God, but very different. I want to share with you, and I decided this yesterday, I, I've been thinking about this a lot. I would like to share with you a little bit about my health and weight journey. And there's a reason for it, but I'll tell you that in a minute. Let me tell you a little bit about my journey, and then I'll tell you why I decided to share it. I went on my first diet at 19 years old, and I remember it well. I did everything wrong. I starved myself. I rode a bicycle in the heat of the summer in a plastic sweatsuit. I mean, I did everything wrong. It's a wonder I didn't kill myself. But I lost the weight. I was thrilled. Lost 20 pounds. Fabulous. All right. Fast forward. It's 1988. I find myself newly a single mom and had some weight to lose. And I used Weight Watchers. And let me tell you, it was very successful and it was healthy. But the problem is I didn't stick with it. OK, fast forward again. I've had another baby um, in 1991. Of course, there's always weight to come off. You know, this has been a journey. It's been a yo-yo journey for me. Now, in recent years, since, let me just be honest, if I'm going to tell you my health journey and my weight journey, and since hysterectomy and since menopause, um, my weight has tended to stay higher rather than lower. And I've come to accept a happier place to be in that's higher than I used to be. And that is great. I'm fine with that. Um, and I don't know, five or six years ago, I met with my doctor and we talked about losing weight. That's all we talked about, losing weight. And I uh, was recommended to me to drop all the white carbs. And I did. And I lost weight. I did. I lost about 35 pounds and felt fabulous. Fabulous. I started at the highest point I've been other than when I was pregnant and, and got down to a very healthy, happy, feel good weight. Okay. So that happened. And then a few years ago, I had let my weight slip back up, not to that place, but I had let it slip again. And with all the advertisements, I decided to try Noom. I did, and I lost the weight again. Are you seeing a pattern here? I lost the weight again. Um, and, and since then, I've done Weight Watchers a few times, which is a wonderful program. Noom's a wonderful program. But you see, here's the problem. Here's the problem. And I've written about this. I write devotional books. Um, I've written about this. I am a food addict. And I don't take that lightly. I don't say it lightly. There are many days I, I eat three desserts in, you know, when I know better. And I eat, do lots of late night snacking. And I know better. And um, I love to eat crunch, whether it's healthy or not. And I know better. And at Christmas, I allowed myself everything I wanted. I knew better. But I did it anyway. Thanksgiving, Christmas, parties, and eggnog. I am an eggnog fan. And I, the minute I saw the first eggnog in the store, I bought it. And I drank it until it left the store. Eggnog's loaded with calories. So now here I am. I did so many things wrong. And I'm back up to that weight, almost, not quite, that highest point I was a few years ago. So here I am again. Now, let's add to that. I've really been upset with myself for doing this roller coaster thing again because it, it makes me so mad. Why didn't I catch this at five pounds or 10 pounds or 15 pounds? Why didn't I stop myself? Well, that becomes the question, doesn't it? For somebody who loves to eat and loves to eat everything. There's very few things I don't like to eat. And they're probably healthy things. But anyway, here I am on this roller coaster again. But here's what's happened that has been a gift from God. Okay. Been having some trouble with my arm. I've been going to physical therapy in January um, after seeing a doctor who deals in this type of stuff with the physical therapy. And um, I was diagnosed about 10 days ago 
with degenerative multi-level degenerative dis disorder and or disease excuse me and facet arthropathy which is basically arthritis but it's all in my neck okay and and so my neck has bothered me last year i was diagnosed with it in my toe joints so there are days my feet don't hurt and there are days they hurt terribly okay and i've had it diagnosed years ago in my hands and i've had low back pain for years so in other words um just like my dad and um i hope i'm like him in the good ways his kindness and his love and generosity but i have his health conditions because these are, these are exactly the things that my dad was diagnosed with so last monday i went into the doctor to, for the follow-up to the physical therapy. And I said, we need to talk. <laughs> and he said, sure, let's talk. And I shared with him about um, my weight being up higher than it's been since that peak weight years ago, a number of years ago. I shared with him that I felt like my weight was dragging me down. And that since October, when I had my third bout with COVID. It was my third time. And that bout was hard for me. The cough was horrendous and it lasted for two months. I've had trouble getting my energy back. So I've given up any form of exercise. I'm not walking. I, I mean, I work on my feet. I'm busy, but I'm not walking. And I'm doing a lot of sitting on the couch. So I, I, I own all my struggle. Honestly, I told him about the eggnog, about the overeating, about all of these things. I said, I'm just going to pour myself out before you because I need to be healthier. Yes, I'd like to drop some weight, but I need to be healthier. Well, he looked at my blood work. He said, well, guess what? Your cholesterol is up. I said, well, hello. We're just batting a thousand today. So now here I am. This is one week later. I saw him last Monday morning. This is one week later. And I want to tell you, I left there that day a little bit overwhelmed, but a lot bit hopeful. And so I did some thinking Monday. I listened to his advice. And I'll tell you in a minute what he told me. And Tuesday morning, I got real serious about doing what he called me to do, what he told me to do. But the other thing I did, I prayed for God to help me with the weight journey before. But this time I prayed differently. I said, Lord, I need to be healthy. I want to serve you a long time. I want to be doing things a long time. I want to be an active grandmother for a long time. I want to, I, I'm a, um, a part-time, uh, I'm a teaching associate at Coastal Carolina University. I want to be doing that un until, I'm, until I'm ready to retire from it. I want to be a good wife and a mom, a servant of God. I want to be a fun grandmother. And with health issues and weight issues and back issues and cholesterol issues, I think I'm giving into something I do not need to give into. And I asked God to help me be healthier. I said, would you give me strength, give me self-control? I honestly don't have, obviously. Help me do the things that are right and help me listen to my doctor. And I want to tell you, Starting, I kind of started Monday, kind of, sort of, but not perfectly. But Tuesday, I got really serious about doing exactly what my doctor said. He said, I want you to work on avoiding high cholesterol things, avoid those the grease. Um, um, and I want you to drop down to lean meats, eat, eat lean meats all you can and eat fruits and vegetables. Which means, guess what? That same thing I did a number of years ago, dropping all the white carbs, okay? And so, why am I sharing this? Because I know from looking at the diet industry, from looking at friends, from talking to people, I am not the only person who's been on a yo-yo roller coaster diet journey my entire life. There are more of you out there who are struggling with this than just me. I have friends who did it once maintain the rest of their lives. And I am so happy for them. I have friends who have found what works for them. Fantastic. 
I have one friend who's dropped weight and looks so healthy. She says, you know, I've just never been much about eating. It's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm thinking, and I love to eat and want to eat all the time. And so if you're out there and you struggle like I do, and you've been on this up and down journey, maybe you're going to want to join me. I'm going to try to add a video. It probably right now is going to be once a week, might be twice a week. My work schedule changes weekly, but I want to give you some hints that have made a difference for me. Okay. The first thing being, I have prayed. I have prayed and asked God to help me be healthy so that I can do those things that are in his will for me to do. I, I want to, I want to serve him a long time. I want to stand up and sing for him. I want to sing with joy and, and be able to walk and teach and be a mother and grandmother. All those things I mentioned, I want those things. And so I prayed. The second thing I have done faithfully since last Monday, I have dropped those white carbs. Now, what are those? All sugar, white pasta, white potatoes, white bread, white rice. Now, Rice and bread were easy. I, I have I gave that up a long time ago. I have had some sugar. Girls and guys, I have had more sugar than I can count. And I have been eating potatoes like there's nobody's business because they probably are my absolute favorite food. Well, but guess what? Sugar causes inflammation for a person with arthritis. It's time to let it go. Potatoes are wonderful. And I'm going to treat myself from time to time with a good baked potato, but not today. I've told myself not today. Today, I'm going to walk in victory because the doctor's given me a plan and God is giving me the strength. And that's what I'm doing. So I have dropped those five things for a week. Okay. The other thing I've had victory with that I have not had victory with in years is I'm drinking more water, and I'm so grateful because it is helping my feelings. Um, I, I, I take a bottle about this big, about that big around, something like that. I take it to work with me. I take it in the car with me. And what I love is I shared with my students because I love my students. And we have been together longer than just this semester. We've been together a year. And I shared with them that um, I had to drink more water, and I had to make better health choices. And so they keep my water bottle filled. You see, they're becoming part of my accountability team. And I said, I love you, but don't bring me cookies and things. I, as much as I love those things right now, would you not? Another thing I've done in the last week, the things that I love to eat that I don't need to eat, I, I've, I've gotten, gotten them out of sight, out of mind. Or, or either there was a little bit left in the container and I got rid of it. I love pretzel thins. They're so crunchy, and I love them, but I had to let them go. Just had to let them go. Um, I love the crunch at nighttime. I can't explain that, but I'm finding other things. I'm finding other things. So I've, I've added the water. I've dropped my nighttime eating down to almost nothing after dinner. And I eat dinner. Don't misunderstand me. I eat meals three times a day, but I've dropped it after dinner, and I've cooked, and my husband has cooked for me. Those lean meats with healthy oils like olive oil, okay? And I like avocado oil. And I already feel better. And um, this is going to be a good journey. Again, I'm sharing because I hope somebody out there will see this. And it'll help you. And we can walk through this thing together. And if you need me to be praying for you or with you, you just let me know. And I'll continue to let you know how this journey is going. I've done a, uh, some other very small things. I'll let you know about those next time. Today, that's enough. No white carbs, especially that sugar for inflammation, lots of water, cut the PM eating, and healthy, healthy oils. So I have that in my system and not those unhealthy oils that are going to mess with my cholesterol. I'm choosing to be healthy. For me, for my God, and for my family. I hope you will as well. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.